guys, welcome back to another movie review here. Today we are reviewing I Wanna Dance With Somebody. Yes, I Wanna Dance With Somebody is, God, even on this channel, like, there is so many, like, biopic movies now. We've obviously had Rocket Man, we've had Elvis that I've reviewed on this channel, we've had Respect, which is the Aretha Franklin uh, documentary, or movie, rather. There has been so many over the years, Bohemian Rhapsody, we've got the Amy Winehouse one coming soon. Um, it's just never-ending. It's like an always a thing. It's like a trend. And now we get the Whitney Houston one, I Want to Dance With Somebody, directed by Cassie Lemons. Um, it is a good um, a good depiction, really, of, of the movie. It is starring Whitney Houston, um, is being played by Naomi Aki. Now, she played Janna in Star Wars Episode Nine: Rise of Skywalker. Like, I knew her straight away. Um, but she is in the Star Wars universe in that sense we also get stanley tucci as well in the movie now he is very well known um around hollywood and stuff and i absolutely love stanley tucci anything he does i think he's fantastic the movie comes in though at 144 minutes so it's just over two hours long and this is one of my biggest problems with the film the film itself is just feels a bit like it drags in certain parts throughout the movie um it is very much just like a regimented um depiction of her life. My mate actually put it really, really well that you could have just literally read her Wikipedia page in order and then they just said, right, we need a seat, we need to create a scene on that, create a scene on this, create a scene on this, and then just put them together. That's literally what it was. There was no, I felt like there was no linkage between scene to scene really in the movie. Um, I found it to be um, like not a very good screenplay, I guess. Like the, the, the picture wasn't very good in terms of actually writing her out for a movie. I thought it was pretty bad in that sense there. One thing I did like about the film though was obviously the music and stuff like Whitney Houston like it just took me back to like some of her songs that I didn't even know were hers and since the movie has now been out and obviously um, since I've seen it rather I have been listening to some Whitney Houston music that was in the movie Um, it was nice to well it is nice to, to, to what, listen to some of that music again and kind of like reinvigorate my music library if you know what I mean uh, which I like to do anyways with like a lot of these biopic movies. Uh, Naomi's Aki's performance though was very convincing I thought I thought she looked exactly like Whitney Houston really in a lot of scenes and especially since watching the film I've looked back and watched some of like Whitney Houston's music videos and stuff and the ones that were in the movie you know is basically being like redone in the movie and then obviously like in real life and the costumes everything was really really good like I gotta give it credit like I was very very good from that point of view but I just don't know about the movie itself I just feel like it was basically every single scene was just like oh she's backstage at this concert or she's talking about this or she's talking about that there was no like actual story that I felt maybe like Rocket Man was better for him and much better known for even R-E-S-P-E-C-T uh, that movie um, and I would even go as far to say Elvis like Elvis I didn't like Elvis as much as other people did but it had more of a story to it and more of a connectivity to it. I think that's the biggest thing for me throughout this film. It just didn't feel connected from one scene to the next. It just felt all the scenes made together and then just organized in time order and then cut together. Um, yeah, that's how it felt. There was no real dramatization or anything really. Like it didn't really seem like nothing was over the top in the sense of like, you know, maybe particular stories that may have been in the media that seemed to be fabricated or anything. There was none of that. Um, it felt like what happened could have actually happened, which I guess is good um, from a biopic point of view and a, a based on a true events type of story. It is a very tragic end to Whitney Houston's life and also like her families because like her daughter as well passed away in the exact same way that Whitney Houston took her life so it's really traumatic when you do look into the whole Whitney Houston story and it's probably why it's taken a while for this type of um, story to actually come out because there's been a lot of stuff going on in that family and I guess in that estate of Whitney Houston and her family so yeah really really sad story but I have to give my review I am going to review this movie a two and a half star it just sits right in the middle for me like some of the things I think I really enjoy about the film but then there's other things in the film that I really really don't like the the, the plot is really messed up it is a really misorganized film um, and I think that's just down to like I said the screenplay not being very good um, there was just no unison but the music side of it the costumes I think Naomi Aki's performance was very good Stanley Tucci as well was very very good
good in the film. So yeah, it just sits right in the middle for me. Two and a half star. Will I watch her again? Probably not, but I probably will be picking it up because uh, I do get all those movies. So yeah. But there it is, guys. Have you seen I Want to Dance with Somebody? Let me know your thoughts down below. Stay tuned for videos coming every single day on the channel now. We have a ton of movies to catch up on over the last one or two weeks that I've been to the cinema. So, uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for videos coming soon. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.